how to add your dropbox files to notion database items automatically so the idea here is as soon as i am going to upload a new file in the dropbox the same file should be added to the database items into the notion software which is an amazing project management and a note taking software so if you also want to sync your dropbox file with your notion project management software come with me and i will show you the process of this automation step by step so if i will upload the file here in the dropbox you will see the same files will be added to the notion software also and to create this automation i need to connect dropbox and notion with the help of an automation and integration software pably connect and you can also reach here by typing pably.com/connect i will also attach this link in the description box now if you are a new user you will have to click on this button and sign up for free and i'm already an existing user so that is why i am clicking on signing and then i will click on access now and let me tell you in the free account of pably connect you will also get free task to test these kinds of amazing automation okay so after reaching out to the dashboard you will have to click on this button create workflow and from here exactly we are going to start creating our automation our workflow so just provide a random name sync dropbox files with the notion database so i am providing this particular name you can provide any random name now after clicking on the button create you will find two boxes in front of you those are actually trigger and action trigger means when this happens action means do this when this happens do this understand with an example whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application send an email via gmail application according to our use case whenever the file is uploaded in dropbox application sync the same file basically add the same file into the notion database so that is why we need to always select the applications in which we are setting up an automation and in this video i am setting an automation in between dropbox and notion so that is why the first application here will be the dropbox and of course i want this automation to trigger whenever the new file is uploaded so that is why the trigger event will be the new file okay click on connect click on add new connection and the idea here is we are connecting our dropbox account with the pably connect so that whatever the data is added in dropbox can be captured here first in the pably connect and then we are going to send the same data to the notion application so click on this connect with the dropbox and it will ask you the access of your dropbox file well since i am already logged in to the different software so the authorization has been successful immediately now it is asking for the folder path so i am going to create a new folder here with the name infographics only okay so let me provide a name to my uh, folder okay i have provided the name infographic or i should write all infographic data okay so click on create and you will see the folder will be created and come back again here and what it is asking check a specific folder for the new files okay and while checking a file in folder name sample folder this folder path will be this so basically we need to provide the folder path here so that the data of that specific folder can be fetched out here and if you you can also skip this if you want to check it check the file in the root so what is the uh, folder path of my folder well it is actually this slash uh, all infographic data so i'm going to copy the same and paste it here and then firstly i am going to upload a random image from my desktop okay so i am going to upload a random image in front of you all right so assume that i am uploading this infographic uh, into this particular folder okay okay the image that infographic has been uploaded here now coming back here and click on this button save and send test request and you will see whatever the file you have uploaded to your dropbox account will be received here let me even show you the details one by one here you can see the shareable link of the same image which i have just uploaded okay let me show you the url okay here you can see it is the same image all right okay this is the same template which i have uploaded to my dropbox folder so the presence of this data clearly shows that the first step of our automation is actually 
done which was connecting dropbox and pably connect and we even have the further details basically the date here we ha even have the name of that thumbnail basically the name of that infographic now once we have received this data into the pably connect now we are going to send the same data into the notion software so that is why in the second application i am going to choose notion and since i am going to create a database item so that is why this will be the action step click on add new connection click on connect with notion and again i am already logged into the notion software so instead of asking the access it will directly ask me for the permission so i am going to provide the same and i'll be providing all the permission and just don't worry pably connect is 100 percent safe okay so i have provided the same click on allow access and you will see your notion application will be immediately connected with pably connect the authorization is successful okay so it is asking for the database to select so you can see since we are connected whatever the database are available into your account have started visible here okay and i am going to select this particular database the infographics for social media team okay so let me select the same and uh, i don't want these fields so i'm going to replace all these fields so instead of name here i will actually add the file url basically that infographic url okay so i have updated the same <clears throat> i'm sorry for that and second thing i want is actually the file name so i have added two fields here okay so now when i will click on this refresh field refresh to fetch the new items you will see these below fields will be changed immediately as per this particular data okay let me even show you here is the file name here is the file you are okay so now i am going to fill these two fields one by one how from the above data which i have just received and i don't need to copy this data and paste it here when you will click on this field okay read the instructions insert the data from the previous step so yes i am going to fill the data from the previous step it is asking for the file name so how about i provide this particular file name from the above data so i have mapped this value second thing it is asking for the file url so again i am going to map the shareable link basically the url of that infographic okay so i have mapped these two things now you must be thinking what is this mapping which i am repeating again and again so whatever the values you are mapping here will be replaced automatically in the real time with when this automation will execute and if if you will fill this field uh, manually these fields data will be remain same will be fixed so make sure that whatever the values you want to keep on changing in the automation just map them instead of adding them manually okay so this is the power of mapping power of automation so how about i click on this button save and send test request and here i will be waiting for the response well the response is received going back to the notion software and here you can see as soon as i have clicked on that button the url for the same has been added here and even the file uh, name also let me even cross check for the url and yes it is the same image which i have uploaded to my dropbox folder so now onwards whenever you are going to upload anything into this specific folder the same data will be first captured in the pably connect and this is how this data will be synced with the notion software and you just need to create this automation once in the pably connect yes it is just a one time process and once you have created this automation sit back and relax because pably connect will take care of all the tasks in the back end in case your data is not updating in the real time basically after immediately don't worry about that because read the instructions this trigger will check for the new data in every 10 minutes so yes it may take up to 10 minutes to fetch out the new data so don't worry about it just wait for some time okay in case you want to clone this workflow into your account i'll be adding the shareable link of the same workflow into my video description box from where you can directly clone this workflow into your account that too for free 
Not just these applications, you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Pabli Connect. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. My team will surely answer to your questions. This is the website of Pabli Connect. And for the latest updates of Pabli Connect and unique automation ideas, you can join our Facebook group that is formget.deals. If you have found this video helpful in any way, share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.